everybody, welcome to Follow Me Friday. Today we're going to talk about Walgreens and their new balance reward system. Right here, I'm sure you saw in the paper. If you haven't requested your card already, go ahead and do that because you need to have a card. It's just like a, any other store loyalty card. You have to have it to get the sale price. So if you don't have it, even though the sales ad, it might say this is 99 cents, if you don't have your card to scan, it's not going to be 99 cents. It's going to be full price. So you need that card. That's the first thing you need to do is request your card. Now, as you look through the paper, and if you have your Walgreens ad on hand, I go ahead, go ahead and grab it and look through it with me. You will see several things throughout the paper that has the little balance sign next to it. And what that means is if you purchase that item, you will get rewarded. So let's see, if you look on the very front, it says the nice water it's on sale for $1.99 now to get that price you have to have your card so you swipe your card and you get it for $1.99 but also as a bonus you will get 500 points back now it also says limit of three so if you buy three you pay six dollars but you get 1500 points back and the way the points work is um, a thousand points is equal to a dollar that's basically how it works and sometimes they give you bonus incentives to where a thousand points can be a dollar twenty-five so it's gonna be really hard to determine you know final price after bonus points and all that but we'll get to that later so I just wanna go over the basics um, everything that you see in the ad that has the little symbol by it that means you get a bonus point loaded onto your card so you get to pay the one ninety nine the sale price but then as a bonus you get the 500 points now one of the most uh, common asked questions now is is there a limit to how many points you can earn per item the answer is yes and no and the reason I say that is because it's advertised by Walgreens that there is no limit however people are running into the problem where they go in to get it there's no limit on the paper it says buy two you get this so they are going to buy four, they're going to double the deal, and they're expecting double the points. But for some reason, they're only getting points for the first deal and not the second deal. So I think right now we're, they're trying to work out, you know, all the flaws. One example is this gum deal right here, the ID gum. It says on here, if you buy two, you get a thousand points loaded onto your card. Well, some people are going to buy six packs of gum and they're expecting 3,000 points to show up, but that's not the case with everybody. So right now, it's your mileage may vary. So what I suggest to do is just go buy what's in the paper. It says buy two, get 1,000 points. Just stick with buying two to get 1,000 points. If you want to ensure that you'll get more than that, then do two separate transactions. So buy two in one transaction, for 1,000 points and then do two in another transaction to get the other 1,000 points. Because some people are reporting that they're trying to do it all in one transaction and they're not getting the total points that they're expecting, okay? Now with these points, there's a plus, there's a perk, and that is that they don't expire. They don't expire as long as you're a regular shopper at Walgreens. So as long as you shop there and it states on there like once every six months, your points don't expire. So you can save those points up for you know your next shopping trip or whenever. And you know, with the register rewards, it exp they expire pretty quickly. So with this balance reward system, it's, it's a nice perk that they don't expire and you don't have to rush back out to the store every week. So keep that in mind. Now, since they don't expire, you might wonder, well, how can I keep up with my points? It's very easy. One, one, every time you buy something at Walgreens and you get your receipt back, on the bottom of the receipt, it's going to state how many points you have and how many you've already claimed or whatever. So you're always going to have it on the bottom of your receipt. Also, you can go home and check your balance online. So if you earn 2,000 points that day at Walgreens, you can get back home and check it online, and those 2,000 points will be there. That leads me to the next thing. As soon as you get your points at the store, they are available for you to use. So if you go, you know, buy the two packs of gum and then you get home, your points will be in your account automatically. Now, I want to point something out just so you keep this in mind when you're shopping. 
when you redeem your points, so let's say you have $5 worth of points to redeem. If you go buy something that is supposed to give you points for buying it, you're not going to get those points. So you can't roll the points for more points. You can use those points you've earned and get a product, but if it's supposed to give you points back, you can you will not get them. Does that make sense? So that gum is on sale this week, and let's say you already have points on your card that you can buy that gum for free with your points. Well, you can get that gum for free, but the extra points that it's giving back, you will not receive it. I just want to make that clear so you're not frustrated if you try to roll your points. It's the same thing with those, you know, register rewards. You can't roll them on the same product. Well, with the points, you can't roll them on any points, period. Okay? So we're good on that. Um, I think we've covered almost everything. You get points for a lot of different things. You get points for prescriptions. You get points for um, buying products. And I think that's pretty much it. It's very, very easy. Once you start using it, you just kind of have to get in the mindset of it. I know in the beginning it might be frustrated because you might not know what you can and cannot get. But that's why I'm here. I'm going to show you deals every week that you can get and use coupons and get the deals. Yes, I wanted to point that out too. You are allowed to use coupons and then still get the points that you're expecting back. And just like in the paper, it states um, the gum, it, it already factors in the coupon that you probably have from the Sunday paper. So they are expecting you already to have a coupon ready and you still get the points. So go out, get your balance rewards card if you haven't already because it's just like a store loyalty card then you start racking up those points and before you know it you can get some free products and we love that so i hope this helped you better understand the walgreens new balance rewards system if you have any questions just leave a comment below and we'll all try to figure out what's going on all right and once again be patient because the cashiers are new to this system just as we are thanks for watching bye